Welcome back to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be learning about how to become certified ethical hacker. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. Let's start with today's agenda guys. First, I am going to tell you who exactly is a certified ethical hacker and what exactly he does in a company. After that, I will also tell you what is certified ethical hacker exam or CEH exam. Then we will move on to what makes certified ethical hacker version 11 different from other cyber security certifications. After this, we will move on to what's new in version 11 than previous versions. Then we will also see the Certified Ethical Hacker exam outline and all its contents. And finally, we will wrap up with job roles after you do the certification CH version 11. So without wasting any time, let's get into the topic. So who exactly is a Certified Ethical Hacker? An ethical hacker, also referred to as a white hat hacker, is an information security expert who penetrates a computer system, network, application or other computing resources on behalf of its owners and with their authorization. Organizations call on ethical hackers to uncover potential security vulnerabilities that malicious hackers could exploit. The purpose of ethical hacking is to evaluate the security and identify vulnerabilities in target systems, networks or system infrastructure. The process entails finding and then attempting to exploit vulnerabilities to determine whether unauthorized access or other malicious activities are possible. Moving on, let's see what exactly is Certified Ethical Hacker Exam. This course will teach you the latest hacking tools, techniques and methodologies used by hackers and information security professionals to lawfully hack an organization. This exam covers more than 500 new threats and vulnerability scenarios as it is updated to version 11. And one more thing, CH version 11 is provided by EC Council, that is the governing body who give all certifications for cyber security. Now let's see what makes this cyber security CH version 11 certification different from other cyber security certifications. The first one, it has mapped NICE 2.0. CH version 11 falls perfectly under NICE 2.0 framework specialty areas, protect and defend and analyze and even securely provision helping you to further your career as a federal employee. Next we have emerging attack vectors. A greater focus on 18 attack vectors including the OWASP top 10 IoT hacking vulnerabilities analysis, APT, fileless malware, web API threats, web hooks, web OSHEL, other attacks, cloud attacks, artificial intelligence, machine learning and much much more. Next we have modern exploit technologies. This is to improve your exploit development by learning about existing and new vulnerabilities from the entry level. Get exposure to the latest technologies such as OT technology and container technology. This exam also has hands-on hacking challenges. You will get the luxury of trying 24 exceptional hacking challenges that is spread across 4 complexity levels with the break the code challenge. There you can showcase your cutting edge tricks to get into highly sought after positions. You will also learn modern case studies and current events. Exemplary case studies to help you understand the TTPs and scope of an attack. You, you will also learn from the modern real world incidents and ongoing trends to protect, detect and analyze a potential cyber attack beforehand. This exam also has enhanced focus on malware analysis. After doing this examination, you will be one step closer to learning the latest malware analysis tactics for ransomware, banking and financial malware like IoT botnets, OT malware analysis, Android malware and many many more malwares like that. Then you will also have live cyber range. They have the brand new iLab cyber range for now 100% mapped to the certified ethical hacker training program. It is no more based on simulations rather than real world challenges. Before it was on simulations and now it's the real world challenges. And this is the most interesting part. This exam has greater focus on cloud and IoT services. You will get dedicated modules on cloud and IoT incorporating CSP's container technologies like Docker or Kubernetes, cloud computing threats and various IoT hacking tools such as Shikra, Bus Pirate and many more. 
Now let's see what's new in version 11 that was not there in previous versions. The first one we have is hacking challenges on steroids. You will have 24 incredible challenges across 4 levels. Then you will also have cloud computing that was not there in previous versions. You will also have hacking web applications like web API, web hooks and web shell concepts, web API hacking and security. After that in operational technology, you will learn tools and methods like ICS, SCADA, HMI based attacks and side channel attacks. WPA3, we are most familiar with it. Now that WPA3 exists in this world, we have WPA3 encryption and cracking as well. After that, you will also learn malware reverse engineering, that is the static and dynamic malware analysis. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cyber security, then IntelliPAT has a post-graduation certification in cybersecurity and ethical hacking by ENICT Academy, MNIT Jaipur. This course is of very high quality and cost-effective as it is taught by MNIT professors and industry experts. Here you will analyze the malware and even create it and then you will learn how do you even prevent a malware. Then you will also learn enumeration where you will learn new networking techniques like NFS, Telnet, SMB, FTP, TFTP, even IPv6, border gateway protocol and enumeration techniques. After this, let's move on to the exam outline. What exactly CH version 11 exam consists of? First one, it has 125 number of questions and you will get 4 hours to answer them. And for 125 questions, you will not have negative marking so you can attempt any number of questions. Now the format of the questions is there will be multiple choice questions. The four options you will have a question that is real world scenario based and you have to answer that. For example, I am CEO of a company and my company has been attacked by some attackers. Now what are the next steps I have to take in order to prevent those attacks in future. So the questions like that you have to answer them. Now the exam prefix that you have is 312-50. It's more like an exam code that you have to put before applying to that exam. After that, let's move on to the interesting part, how you are scored and what are the passing scores. In order to maintain the high integrity of the certification exams, EC Council exams are provided in multiple forms. Each form is very carefully analyzed through beta testing with an appropriate sample group under the preview of a committee of subject matter experts that ensure that each of the exams has not only academic rigor but also has real world applicability. They also have the process to determine the difficulty rating of each question. The individual rating then contributes to an overall cutoff score for each exam form. To ensure each form has equal assessment standards, cut scores are set on a per exam form basis, depending on which the exam form is challenged. Now the cut scores can range from 60% to 85%. Now this is the exam outline of what you will learn in CH version 11 exam. You will have 20 modules in total starting from introduction to ethical hacking to cryptography. You will learn 5 phases of ethical hacking inside it like footprinting, reconnaissance, scanning networks, vulnerability assessment, malware threads, sniffing and the most interesting and new topics that we have is IoT hacking, cloud computing and even hacking wireless networks like WPA3 and WPA2. In addition to it, you will have a separate module for denial of service, session hijacking and even SQL injections. Now moving on. These are the tools that you learn in CH version 11 exam. Now these are not all the tools that you learn. You learn around 500 plus tools that are there in Kali Linux operating system. These are the most famous tools that you learn for creating malware and scanning networks. Wireshark and Nmap are the two tools that scans the network and gives you the IP addresses of all the devices that are connected to it. MySQL will be useful when you do SQL injection into a website and Metasploit is a tool and it's a very famous tool that we use to create malwares and viruses. Not only these, you will have 500 more tools to learn. After this, let me tell you what are the job roles that you do after you do this certification. So in total, you have a lot of jobs but these are the top job roles that I have and companies are looking for these specific job roles. You have information security analyst. Information Assurance Security Officer, Information Security Manager, 
and information system engineer. Now these four job roles that you have that are for information security role. After this, you will also have IT auditors, vulnerability analyst, and network admin and engineer. Now these three job roles are specially for penetration testers and offensive security people. So after you complete the exam, you will have two options to go inside the companies. Either you go as a security expert or you can go for as a penetration tester, which is an offensive security measure. Now after this, so these are the top companies that are hiring ethical hackers as of now. As you can see, there are very big companies and very famous for it. You have companies like American Express, Amazon, IBM, SAP, KPMG, Deloitte, Microsoft, Wipro and Cisco. These are the very big companies that require ethical hackers on a regular basis. So after you do the certification, you can also get into these organizations and learn a lot and earn a lot from them. Moving on, let's see the most interesting part of this session. You will get to know the salary of all the job roles that you do after you complete CH version 11 exam. Now for new people who are in USA, their salary starts with $104,500 that's annual. And in India, for new people who have just graduated or who are new to this industry, they earn from 3.5 to 6 lakhs per annum. Now for professionals who have 3 years to 5 years of experience, they earn $2 million in USA. And for India, you will earn 30 LPA. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cybersecurity, then Intellipat has a post-graduation certification in cybersecurity and ethical hacking by ENICT Academy, MNIT Jaipur. This course is of very high quality and cost-effective as it is taught by MNIT professors and industry experts. 